Peace, peace, family. Welcome to another episode of YP Higher Perspective, where we review internet media content via news clips, entertainment, or just everyday recordings, and we give you a higher cognitive disposition on the subject matter at hand. Today, family, we're going to be reviewing a video clip of a four-year-old interacting with a controversial, okay, naked man exhibit. Now, we're just going to roll the tape on this one, and then we're going to go straight in. And so with that being said, here we go. Bam. Okay, that's all I needed to see. Let me jump in before I even get a higher perspective. Let me just critique the video. First of all, this is pedophilia. I don't care what you say, what you're, I don't care. Pedophilia. You can say art, you can say all of that shit you want to, this is pedophilia. Okay? First of all, why did you even, even if you want to argue, well, being naked is, you know, the children could, you know, it's, it's a level of maturity that can be developed. Why'd you have to use a real man? Why you couldn't use a, a, a dummy that mimics a real person, okay? And then you could have did the baby doll thing. You could at least had a naked, a naked, you know, uh, dummy or, or, or a mannequin or something and it had a blank private part area, kind of like dolls, how you play with action figures and they just don't have nothing down there. There's no excuse why you had to have a real grown man with his penis out in front of a four-year-old. Now, what's scary to me is how many adults around are smiling at this. They're not even shocked, like, oh, my God. They smiling and cheering it on. And then the one asshole that we just seen gave her a high five. Gave her a high five. So let me ask you a question. Okay, because if you want to justify this, would it be okay for a random naked man to just go up to a playground and start pushing kids on a swing butt naked? Would that be okay for, for a teacher at a preschool to just come into school one day butt naked and just teach science class? See, what's happening here is this. This is what's happening here. The people who have an agenda, okay? You know who them people are. The people who have an agenda are trying to see how far they could get with the idiots of the world. Every time, you know, you give them an inch, they take another. The fact that you don't hear about this, the fact that you don't see this on the news, the fact that people are not outraged enough about this for this to be a trending topic of discussion shows where our priorities are at. More people complained about the goddamn Super Bowl than I seen people complain about this. I had to go find this. I didn't see this on the news. I had to go. Somebody brought this up to me. I had to go research it to make sure it was real. And damn it, it was real. And so that being said, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And so here's the higher perspective. Are we teaching our children now that the boundaries between adult and child, proper and improper interaction should be dissolved? Are we teaching our children now, okay, that it's okay for an adult of the opposite sex, okay, to be naked around you and allow you to fill on and examine their body for educational purposes, okay? So I want to ask you all a question. In the name of education, do we discard improper behavior? Do we discard sexual misconduct, okay? That's what books are for. That's why you read an anatomy book. You don't go grab your teacher by the breast in science class. If that's the case, you, it should, you should just be able to go grab your science teacher by her damn nipples. And say, I'm trying to see how a nipple feels. Come on, is you serious? And so, at what point in time do the people of this planet Earth wake up and see that we are beyond past too far gone? I don't even know how, how far... Too far, I don't even know what the description of 
too beyond too far gone is, but that's our location right now. Too, beyond too far gone. And so we're we're infinity and we're beyond infinity and beyond. And so when we have situations like this, okay? When we have situations like this that occur publicly, could you imagine what goes down privately? See? Could you imagine what goes down privately? Let me say this. If you were mad at R. Kelly, okay? If you were mad at R. Kelly, you should be even more mad at this video. Because this took place in a museum, okay? To where not only that little girl's parents allowed her to be interacting with a naked grown-ass man, but multiple other children spectated as well, as well as those who passed by and may have just got a glimpse of a grown man in the museum naked, okay? And so, here's the, here's the thing here. Why is it okay? Because it's in a museum? Because if he was doing that on the street, he would go to jail, okay? For sexual misconduct, indecent exposure, and all kind of other shit. Especially if he did it within a certain mile radius of a goddamn school or playground. So, I ask y'all, what makes criminal and immoral acti activity acceptable when normally it's unacceptable? Because a name brand person did it, okay? Pedophilia is unacceptable. But it's okay because R. Kelly did it and you like his music. Pedophilia is unacceptable. But it's okay because a, a museum is displaying a man being, uh, I mean, interacting with a four-year-old and it's okay. So, at what point in time is anybody held liable? At what point in time is this museum held liable? Okay? Who the hell is, is, is the head of the administration which governs these type of programs? At what point in time do somebody say, hey, who the fuck idea was this? Fired. Everybody, everybody that participated in putting this together should be investigated. I don't give a fuck what you say. Who brought this shit up? You're fired. Because if you in here thinking like that, you out of here. And so at what point in time do people get serious about shit like that? Okay? Wait a minute. What? What? Let's flip the script. Let's say it was a little boy interacting with a grown woman. Still inappropriate. Still inappropriate. Let me tell you something. If this video had, if you seen this exact same video, but let's say it was in somebody's living room, and the title was, my four-year-old learns about human anatomy with my naked co-worker, or my naked neighbor, my naked male neighbor, people will lose their goddamn minds. Because you know that that's inappropriate. So why is this not inappropriate Is this case, in this case, okay? Why is the museum not being held to scrutiny, okay? Even if it got to be legally for even putting on such an exhibit. Who had legal grounds, okay, to determine whether or not this was indecent exposure? At what point, and if, and if wherever this happened at, if, if they legalized pedophilia or whatever, I don't know. But at what point in time do we as human beings, do we as people who claim to be a part of humanity, at what point in time do we draw the line between too goddamn motherfucking much and go on here with that bullshit, okay? What, at what point in time do we draw the line? How much bullshit do we have to let roll downhill before you realize it's shit rolling downhill? What's wrong with y'all? And so the higher perspective to this video really is this. Because we can see that this is inappropriate behavior. We can conclude that this is inappropriate behavior. We can conclude how idiotic and stupid people are and will go for anything and will cheer anything on as entertainment no matter how inappropriate it is all for clout all because cameras was around and they got a little time to shine at a museum and so and this also shows you how people will sell their own children out okay in the name of a little bit of clout but the, the high perspective of this video is really cut and dry and the high perspective is this humanity is worse off today in its own consciousness probably since the existence of existence okay and the fact that you allow let's say other fields of advancement to make you believe that we've evolved that should be a trigger sign to show you how much we've devolved we've evolved so much where you can celebrate things like technology but we've devolved virtuously so much where we can see things like this on the technological devices that we've created and not be offended. That's scary.
That's scary. That's scary. We celebrate having the internet so much and electronic devices so much that we forgot that the shit that we watching on these devices are some of the most demonic images and sound that we can never digest within our beings. And so with that being said, at what point in time does things like this not even be allowed to take place, let alone have to be something that we have to argue about in regards to is this okay or, excuse me, is this correct or incorrect behavior? And with that being said, fam, this has been another episode of YP Higher Perspective. Please protect, excuse me, please protect the minds of your children, not just in home, but out of home too, because there's an agenda, as you can see, that they're trying to push. And if you allow the idiots around you to influence your children outside of your own guidance, they will fall victim to that agenda. And in this sad case, we have parents who are influencing their, their children to be victims of the agenda with their parental guidance. And that's even more disgusting. And with that being said, I love y'all. Peace.